Hi, Michael. Hello, Tom and Bill. How are you? Good. Hello. You're the Hi, second good. guy named Michael Lee that I know. <laughs> That's great. Um, so you guys have been part of this, I guess, this legacy that's been goes far, far, far back. Um, I was just wondering how much fun was it for you guys to revisit uh, these characters and um, I guess take the trajectory of it like a little bit further back to develop that arc. It's all fun. I mean, and this world that's been established and uh, and and fleshed out so creatively uh it's just it's a joy ride for us you know you're looking at the fun part of of this product we get to have so much fun when we're performing these characters and uh and kind of breathing the life into all the work that's been done by the writers and the storyboard artists so uh it's just m more fun along that ride and that's you know we we rise and or fall depending on uh, the nature of the content. And so we've been very fortunate with that. Yeah. I mean, like Bill said, it's, it's a, yeah, it's a 25 year joyride, you know, that was, uh, you know, we thought, you know, when you first start something, you go, maybe, maybe we're just going to go around the block a couple of times, yeah. but, but the joyride has been going on for, for a quarter century almost. And, um, <laughs> you know, like you mentioned, revisit the cool thing is for us. And it's, you know, almost unheard of in show business, you know, with, with, uh, rare exceptions is that we're not revisiting these characters because we never stopped visiting them right like us as 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 voice actors have consistently been doing them since 1997 when we made the pilot so it's kind of like these old friends that have just kind of kind of been sitting next to you or, or sitting on your shoulder for for years and years and you get to be with them and me and like you said you know michael may you know go back to a different earlier era of their life where the milieu is a little different and the, and the, you know, the people around them are, are a little different and it's fun to just shake it up a little bit. It's yeah. really fun. You know, the, one of the most uh, interesting aspects for us and for the people that run the show, cause it's the same people that for the most part that, that run the 2d SpongeBob show that's still in production and the, and the camp coral 3d show that's in production. Now it's kind of the same people. So, you know, it's been fun watching them have to have to do the learning curve where they try to apply that old school squash and stretch hand drawn animation aesthetic mm -hmm. to these rods and cones of, of, of CG, you know, computer modeling. And it's a uh, yeah, I think it's really different from other CG that I've seen from any other CG oh, yeah. that I've that I've seen oh. and that it, it tips its hat way more to old school 2D animation. Like that's what it's trying to use this newfangled technology to to a uh, 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 channel. Does that kind of grant you any um, leverage or any sort of um, new um, uh, improvisation, I guess, for um, in your performances? Because I guess they, these, there's different ways of telling or visualizing the character's movements and the nuances and all. You know, it doesn't affect our work that much, like like what the delivery system is, only because what we're going off of uh, is a storyboard, which is drawn by a guy, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, with a pen. So, so that's what we're going off of. You know, this big massive storyboard that has every beat, every action. You know, like a comic book almost with the with the dialogue underneath it. And then you decide how to interpret that, maybe plus plus it, you know, in your performance to because you know a lot of our job is just like uh, Bill was alluding to it in an earlier question. Just this pressure that these people really know their stuff and they work hard on these characters and the drawings and the gags and and you just want to you're part of that equation to be good you know you just want your your little cog in that machine to 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 raise it and 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 make it work well so 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 really the cg versus 2d thing doesn't really affect us at all but in terms of performance and any kind of improv or ad lib is is something that we do get to explore, but only as a result of uh, of uh, what's it wasn't Hillenberg who said something about it. We were kind of the part of the DNA of the characters, you know, and and so I think there's a there's a, a willingness there at least to uh, entertain what any of us might come up with, but it's not uh, an issue of hey, I got a great line here. It's it's more an issue of seeing what's been hewn by the writers and storyboard artists 
and maybe putting a little twist on it to make it even better. The you same know, way they the same way they do with each other in the room or uh, yeah. on Zoom now for the last two years because nobody's in the room uh, yet. But yeah, but uh, but uh, you know the virtual room of yeah, it's 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 a very collaborative model, you know. And and Steve Hillenberg was the guy who set that up. Like Bill said, he was he was always very uh uh uh, uh complimentary and to us and, and and very uh very kind saying saying you guys your DNA is in these characters like who you guys are is in these characters. That's why I cast you guys. And so uh so it's kind of nice to be you know to kind of have that proprietary interest in this thing. It's not just uh you know you're not just reading lines off a of, piece of paper and then you go home right. you know it's uh, it's it's you know you're invested in it you, you know you're part of it you want it you know you're part of this big team of people it's actually not that big a team that's another interesting thing about spongebob cool. is that uh you know considering what a giant global ip it is the 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 number of people working on the shows are is relatively still small in, including um you know uh you know mark ceccarelli vince waller and jenny monica who are producing all current SpongeBob and the spinoff series Patrick Show and Camp Coral, and you know they they've been with the show since the beginning, and it's you know they just know the world. They're not they're not like newbies coming and going. Hey, I worked on Madagascar Four. Let me uh let you know let me take over SpongeBob. Right. So you know so <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. Thank you. 